Today, we have an exciting topic to dive into, how to calculate eBay fees. Whether you're a seasoned eBay seller or just starting out, understanding the fees associated with selling on eBay is crucial for your success. It's not just about breaking even, it's about reaching the ultimate goal of profitability eBay provides a platform that empowers individuals and businesses to connect with a global audience, sell their products and achieve financial success. And to do that, we need to master the art of fee calculations. Now, let's address a few moments that sellers often encounter on eBay. First, we have hidden costs. When you first start selling on eBay, you might not be aware of all of the fees involved. These hidden costs can eat into your profit and hinder your success. Competitive pricing. Finding the right price for your products can be a challenge. Without understanding eBay's fees, you might accidentally price your items too low, cutting into your margins, or price them too high, resulting in fewer sales. Scaling your business. As your business grows, So do the challenges of managing fees. Without a clear understanding of eBay's fee calculations, it's easy to make mistakes that can imped your growth. But fear not. Today, we'll unveil these fees and equip you with the knowledge to navigate them effectively. I'll show you how to strike that perfect balance and optimize your pricing strategy, and I'll guide you on how to master fee calculations so you can scale your business with confidence. Plus, I'll introduce you to an amazing free online tool that simplifies the fee calculation process. Before we dive deeper, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. By subscribing to our channel, you'll stay updated on all things eBay, including fee updates, new features, and insider tips. Don't miss out on the valuable content we're bringing your way. Now, eBay fees. Let's go over the different types of fees you'll encounter on eBay and how these fees are calculated. First, we have insertion fees. Let me first cover what they are and then we will go over how to calculate them. Depending on your store or whether you have a subscription or not, whichever store plan you are using, you are given a limit starting from 250 items to list. And these are free of cost on your store. Example of this would be if you have a limit of the 250 listings and you list 350 items, which is a hundred more than your limit, then you will be charged an insertion fee of 30 cents per exceeded listing, meaning you will be charged 30 cents times the hundred equals $30 in total for the additional 100 listings. Keep in mind that listing will not be mixed with the listing limit that you have on your account. Then we have final value fees. Final value fees includes two fees. One, 30 cents per listing and 13.9% of eBay commission fee, which is the average. Example of this is you listed an item on eBay for $20 and when it sold, you received less money than you hoped for. You were deducted the eBay final value fee. $20 times 13.6% equals $2.72 and also subtract the 30 cents. This is the money which uh, will be credited to the seller account. $20 minus $2.72 minus 30 cents gives you $16.98. In other words, what you will receive from eBay from your $20 sale. Finally, we have optional listing upgrades. Optional listing upgrades means that you pay on average two to $4 on eBay to bold your title, add subtitles or boost listing images. You have to pay eBay for this, uh, the listing, if the listing is sold or not. Okay, so all of this can maybe look like a different language to some of you. And in order to scale your business, you need tools that will help you throughout the process. 
so that you can avoid simple mistakes. So let me guide you on how to master the fee calculations using a free tool that is available out there that can make this process very easy. This is the Zeek Analytics eBay fee calculator, which in my opinion is structured in a simple and easy to understand way, but yet it gives you advanced calculations. So in other words, it is a basic calculator where you are able to put in all advanced information in a simple way in order to get the end results, which is the potential profit. Using all of the options from the left side of the calculator, you are able to select the marketplace and category you are selling in. Then you have the sold price, price at which your item uh, is listed on eBay, let's say. Then you have the item cost, which is the sourcing or supplier price, including tax. And then you have the eBay fee, which is what eBay charges, um, the shipping charge, what you charge the buyer. Dropshippers don't charge shipping as the supplier ships items for free like Amazon and Walmart. Then you have the shipping cost, which is the actual courier shipping cost. Again, dropshippers don't charge or pay this as the supplier takes care of it. Then we have the promotion percentage. You pay eBay to promote your listings and eBay shows you in the top results against keywords and on product pages. If you have to use this option, then you will have to pay on average four to 6% to eBay to promote your listings. This fee is charged on the selling price. Then you have eBay store. You can select the store. If you have a store subscription other than starter, then you will be charged 30 cents of a fee, which is part of the final value fee. Then you have the seller status or in other words, seller level. This is your seller performance. Make sure to take advantage of free online tools available for calculating eBay fees. These tools can save you time and ensure accuracy in your fee calculations. Head on over to the description box below where I've listed the eBay fee calculator and trust me, it's going to be a game changer for your eBay journey. So I truly hope this video has helped you better understand how to calculate eBay fees. Besides that, hopefully now you have a better perspective on how eBay fees work and why they are set up the way that they are. So if you found the information that was shared helpful, show some love by smashing the like button. It lets us know that you appreciate the content and encourages us to create more videos like this one. Also, drop a comment below. Let's start a conversation. Share your thoughts, questions, or even your own experience with eBay fees.